Welcome to our channel. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, today we're going to be taking another look at the Taurus TX-22. Uh, this is going to be kind of an update, uh, just telling you my experiences with it up until now. If you go back and look, I have several videos on this gun already. I had the, uh, the initial video, I had just over 2,500 rounds through it. Um, I also made an update video when I had almost 6,000 rounds through it. I did a video on the lake line front sight that I installed and I also have a video on these plus three magazine extensions which are made by Galloway Precision. Um, well, what this video is it's kind of more of the same this is just a uh, update and just going over my round count with this particular pistol. Uh, if you've seen my other videos you know I'm a big fan of training with 22 uh, handguns and rifles as well as a uh, kind of a budget saving option uh, it's good to introduce a new shooter to a 22 pistol like this. And it's a good way just to kind of hone your skills. Uh, you know, more draws, more repetitions out of the holster, more reloads. Uh, you know, all of that. You can just get a whole lot more with 22 uh, due to the price of the ammo. But with that said, uh, as of today, I have over 11,000 rounds through this pistol. Um, it has been extremely reliable. As reliable as it can be for a 22. I've said that several times in my other videos. Um, you know, you can only make a 22 so reliable. And this one is, uh, for me, about as reliable as you can get one to be. Or it has been up until this point. Um, so I really don't have anything new to report in that regard. As far as reliability, it's been great. Uh, only problem I have had is Taurus did have some issues with some of their barrels. On their very early models, which this one is a very early model. They did have a recall on the barrels, and this firearm is unloaded, no magazine, nothing in the chamber. And the problem was the barrels were letting up excessively, so when you would go to clean the gun, uh, there would just be excessive amounts of lead coming out of the barrel. And also, due to that, accuracy was suffering, and the bullets were not always stabilizing correctly, uh, so you had rounds impacting targets sideways and things like that. I did run into exactly that problem. And here is my original barrel. So I have over 11,000 rounds through the gun. But this particular barrel, I have uh, a little over 10,000 rounds through this barrel. And I started having those problems. Uh, I was getting a lot of lead out of the barrel when I would clean it. And I started to have a lot of bullets impacting the target sideways. So they were not stabilizing in flight. From what I understand, the reason this happened was, I'm sure you can't see that great down the barrel. Uh, you definitely can barely tell with the naked eye. But the problem was the riflings were cut a little deeper on one side than the other. And that was causing the, uh, the leading and the destabilization. I'll roll in a picture right here of a target that I shot. And I shot one group and it was a perfect, you know, nice, clean, little tight group. And then the very next shot uh, on target, I shot another group. And every single one of the rounds impacted the target sideways. So the bullets were destabilizing in flight. So I'll roll that in right here. As you can see, that is definitely a problem. So I contacted Taurus and they immediately apologized. They shipped me a new barrel, which is in the gun now. And they also sent me two additional magazines for my trouble. So I thought they handled that very well. And from my understanding, this is only a problem on the very, very early productions of this gun, which mine is. So if you're wondering if yours has a problem, just email Taurus with your serial number and they can tell you. Um, but more than likely, you're not going to find many of these that do have that problem because it is the early production models only. Uh, with that said, um, that's the only problem I've had. I have a slew of magazines for this thing now. Uh, like I said, I have 10,000 rounds through the original barrel. Um, I've now put another 1,000 rounds through this barrel here. 1,000 uh, plus. So I now have over 11,000 rounds through this gun. 
and uh, I'm, I'm pleased to say that it, it seems to still be going strong and I'm going to put a lot more rounds through it in the future. I just wanted this video to be kind of a quick down and dirty update. I'm going to roll in some shooting footage at the end. So if you want to see this thing getting worked over and doing some drills and different things, uh, check it out. And uh, like I said, if you're a shooter and you like to do a lot of shooting, I definitely recommend a, uh, getting into a 22 trainer. If nothing else, it's nice to have something like this to introduce new shooters. Um, it's a very, very easy way to teach somebody, you know, just the basic function of the firearm. You know, from just removing the magazine to actuating the slide. Um, it's just a good good tool to teach a new shooter. Um, but for somebody who's been shooting a long time, it's a good tool to uh, just kind of master those skills a little bit. I mean, I've got over 11,000 rounds through this gun. That's a lot of draws. Uh, that's a lot of times where I... You know, brought this gun up and acquired the sights, lined them up, and pressed the trigger. Um, so, I definitely think there's some value in that. It will never take the place of centerfire training. That is the most important. But I do think it is another uh, another thing that you can use to just better yourself as a shooter. But that about wraps it up, guys. I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, check out the shooting footage at the end. If you have any questions or uh, anything like that, just drop them in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.